Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. A statue of the Duke of Wellington by Thomas Milnes was installed at the Tower of London in 1848, and later moved to Woolwich, where it remains today. A plaster model of this statue was displayed at the Great Exhibition. Unfortunately it is now in a poor state, missing the sword and a significant part of the right arm. So, just after dawn, Sunday the 18th of December 2023, and we are in Brecon in Mid Wales to photograph this statue of Wellington by Welsh sculptor John Evans Thomas. Whilst not identical, this statue has a similar pose to the statue by Milnes, and hence is a reasonable substitute for our simulation. Here is our model of this statue in the main refreshment court in the north transept of the Crystal Palace. The full 3D model is available on Sketchfab. Passing through the Colbrickdale gates and moving into the nave, we find this colossal statue of the Marquess of Butte, also by John Evans Thomas. This statue is now in Callahan Square, Cardiff. This model is also on Sketchfab. Turning back round towards the Persia court, we see John Henry Foley's youth at a stream. There were two copies of this sculpture in the nave of the Great Exhibition. For our simulation we are using the same model for both. Although at the exhibition the version at this location was a plaster model. Our model is of the version now located in Bancroft Gardens in Stratford-upon-Avon. This model is also on Sketchfab. Crossing the transept from the eastern to western nave, we find the second copy of this statue, just to the left of the silk trophy. At the exhibition this was the bronze version. Travelling west along the nave, we will take a short diversion into the fine art court to see one additional painting which was not ready for video number 23. This is Lady Nugent by Sir Thomas Lawrence. The Great Exhibition catalogue merely notes that a copy of this was displayed. It makes no reference to the fact the original is unfinished, and we don't know if the displayed copy was a finished image, or a direct copy of the original. This painting now hangs in the British Embassy in Vienna, and we are grateful to them for providing the photograph used here. Moving back out of the fine art court and into the adjacent machinery court we come to the great hydraulic press, which was used to raise the box sections of the Britannia Bridge over the Menai Strait. A steam-powered pump would inject water, which would lift the top beam hence pulling on the chains on either side to lift the load. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.